Oh, I knew this would happen. I knew this would happen. Uh, nobody told me the toughest part was holding back the tears. Um, first, I have to say, um, welcome all, and that this is such an, a, beautiful, a beautiful establishment, really. This couldn't be a more beautiful setting to hold this prestigious event. I'm so happy to be here. Monica, thank you from the bottom of my heart today for being here. That was a beautiful introduction. You are a friend, a great champion, and someone who inspired me as a great rival, an adversary on the court. I have always admired you for your relentless determination, your fight, and most importantly, your character as a person. You truly are a class act, and I'm honored to be introduced by you, now a fellow Hall of Famer. It's only fitting that we are here together today. We both had a lot of similarities in our tennis life. Well, you want a lot more than I did, but. <laughs> we both started so young. We were both tennis prodigies. We both faced many challenges on and off the court. We both became champions under extreme pressure and expectation. Not once, but twice. I don't think people will ever forget that 1991 U.S. Open semifinal match. Which some say is one of the greatest matches ever. I know it's one of the greatest matches I've ever played. Will tennis ever see two teenagers again relentlessly hitting ground strokes so hard with such precision and mental toughness point after point? Trust me, being on the other side of the cannonballs coming off your racket was no fun either. <laughs> Not only did we become champions, but I feel we set the bar high and really were a part of transforming the game into what it is today. There is an unspoken bond I will always have with you. We fought against each other hard, but look at where we are now. It is a wonderful moment that our tennis lives have come full circle and we are able to come together again with such respect and support and are able to be on each other's side when it's all said and done. So thank you, you are a true champion. I also want to congratulate the other inductees here today. I'm honored to share the stage with you. You are all so deserving of this honor Wow, everyone has had such an emotional journey to get here in story. Guga, <laughs> it's fitting that again we share another amazing moment in tennis. We both won the 2001 French Open, leaving our hearts on the court, and you literally drawing it in the red clay. Those were my sentiments, exactly. Hey, we never won a Wimbledon, but since this is on grass, does it sort of count? <laughs> <laughs> so I can't believe this day is here. I wasn't sure if it would ever come and if I would have the chance to take my place on center court again. It's been eight, eight years too long. Honestly, I never thought I would get this opportunity to be back at a place where I've spent all my life. A place where I literally grew up, transformed, and defined myself through. I've spent my life either being on a tennis court or missing the tennis court. It's humbling, it's gratifying, and it makes me so incredibly proud to be here today celebrating this moment with you all. When I received the call from the Hall of Fame that I was being nominated, the tears and emotions were just overwhelming. I left the game earlier than I expected, earlier than I wanted to, and because of this, I was not able to leave the game on my terms. 
I was not able to thank everyone who had such a positive impact on my life. I knew this honor would provide me with the platform to give thanks to those people. Those who helped me, loved me, believed in me, supported, in, supported me, and ultimately inspired me. I knew I would be able to pay tribute to a game I love and always think about. I also would be able to acknowledge and embrace what my blood, sweat, tears, determination, and heart has brought me. I would be able to remember who I am again and give me a voice again, my own voice, the true voice. It's really hard to describe all the amazing moments and experiences I've had in 36 years, what just seems like a few moments. I dreamed of tennis as a little girl. I dreamed of being the best. I have to say I achieved all of my dreams and more. Even though my life took some twists and turns that I didn't expect, I still managed to overcome adversity, win grand slams, pocket a gold medal, become the number one player in the world, and now stand at the podium of the International Tennis Hall of Fame. This is one milestone I never thought I would achieve. I'm following the true legends of the game, the ones I idolized growing up, watched, and then had the privilege of playing against. Yes, I have come a long way from when I was a little girl, girl playing on the courts of Holiday Park, back when I was a pupil of Mr. Everett alongside my dad. I have a, I've come a long way since those days when I didn't know how to keep score. <laughs> and when I won, I didn't know I won until Mr. Everett had to tell me. <laughs> My feet didn't hit the ground on the changeovers, and they never did as the ride began from there. Tennis is all about timing, and how perfect and impeccable is this timing of this moment. From Monica being here, to Guga, to the Olympics coming up, remembering my 1992 gold medal win. That was one of the greatest moments in my life. <laughs> to play for my country and win a gold medal, defeating another Hall of Famer and great champion, Stephanie Graff. The timing of this is very profound for me on such a personal level. Tennis have, has given me so much and challenged me in so many ways. It has given me great joy on and off the court, as well as a lot of pain on, on and off the court. But it has taught me what overcoming fear is all about. It has taught me what hard work and commitment means. It has taught me what self-love is. It has taught me what acceptance and forgiveness can bring. It hasn't always been easy, and I'm still learning. The transition and the acceptances I've had to make have been some of, most, some of the most difficult, and I've had to work hard on letting go. Letting go of the fact there might not be any more comebacks. But I don't need to be on a tennis court to be part of this game. I don't need to be on a tennis court to remember who I am. Tennis will forever be in my heart. This moment also comes at a crucial time. It is a moment that I needed to rejoice, embrace, accept, and truly love all that has encapsulated my life. I didn't walk away from the game of tennis because I wanted to. I stopped because I had to. I'd like to take this moment to express how, far to, how hard I fought to come back. It was a great struggle for me all these years dealing with the injuries and accepting the fact that I might not return to competition again. I worked extremely hard during my career on the court and equally as hard, if not harder, to come back. That is why this moment is so incredible for me on so many levels, because this is a return to the game I love. 
I thank my family, my friends, coaches, coaches, trainers, opponents for always supporting me and always believing in me. I thank those who are here and those who are not. To Mr. Everett, Rick Macy, Tommy Thompson, Jimmy Brown, Gully, Harold Solomon, Karen Burnett. There are so many of you to thank. You know who you are. I thank those of you who are here with me in spirit, my friend Darren, my grandparents, my grandma. I remember how much you loved watching me play and how it gave you so much joy the last few years of your life. Knowing that I was able to give you some entertainment made it so much more joyful for me. My family, it's been an amazing journey for us all. I know all of us did the best we could as a family. The love and support has always been there. Each one of my family members had their important roles. This is a moment I really want to thank my dad for teaching me all that I know and giving me the basic fundamentals for my tennis game. He knew how to teach me in a way that I best, best understood and trusted. He also taught me much about life off the court. He taught me what unconditional love is and what always being there really means. He has a heart of gold and I thank you, Dad, for being you. Same to my mother. Mom, you always knew how to keep it fun for me. My brother, Stephen, you have really come into your own, and I am so proud. You are going great places. Thank you for the sacrifices and the support. I love you guys. My friends, to those who are here, Eva Maioli, another great champion, who I shared so many fun moments with. We shall not name them here. And who I consider to be one of my best friends, as well as Molly and I. Thank you for, being, for both being here. And to those who are not here, you know who you are. I thank all my friends for always being there through the great times and the difficult. We all remember what an amazing time it was. Finally, I thank the Hall of Fame for giving me this honor. I thank the members of the voting press. And last but not least, I thank the fans. We love you. Love you too. You have always been in my corner throughout my career, and have always believed in me and who, in who I am. You, my fans, always knew I gave 100% each and every time I stepped on the court. I can only hope the next phase of my life will be as fulfilling as this last one. Throughout my career, tennis gave me the chance to express myself and show the determination I had, and also to do what mattered most to me, that is to inspire and touch the lives of others. I regret not, moment, not one moment of this life. It has all happened the way it's supposed to. This is not an end, but it is a reflection, reflection and capturing moment. It is a new beginning and a transition. A new beginning that is going to allow me to use that all, all that I accomplished on and off the court to inspire and help everyone to believe in themselves, love themselves, and be true to themselves. So thank you all so much.